Well, the entertainment industry said we would have a spine event on Valentine's Day on February 14th of this year, 2022, and we sure did. Look at this. That's incredible. Julia captured this from Orange County, California. Look at that detail of the spine of the dragon. Kind of outlined it there for what you should be looking at. Just look at that. That's incredible. And right here they were trying to hide it a little bit with a chemical trail. Looks like they got a mixture of a white chemical trail and a dark chemical trail. I've seen both and they tried to hide it right through here too. But there it is. There's the dragon right over Orange County, California. This was, I, th I think she told me it was around a little bit after 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if anybody has like home security cameras where you've got it like maybe halfway pointed at your yard and halfway pointed up at the sky and you live like in the Pacific time zone, if you can go back and look at yesterday, February the 14th, just look at your footage and see if you can see this going by because it was sure there, just like the entertainment industry said it would be. I couldn't see anything here in Tennessee. Uh, the skies were pretty clear. There was just two or three chemical trails here and there, but there wasn't really anything going on over here. Nothing was in our field of view, really, for a couple days. It was just kind of clear skies, so nothing was really here. But that's why I ask everybody to take a look and thank you for the handful of people who actually sent me things to look at. And I'm gonna show uh, a lot of them, I'm not going to show all of them because some of them I, I just don't, they had it too well hidden. Like I can tell that they're hiding the dragon in some of the stuff that gets sent to me. Like almost all of the stuff that gets sent to me, I can tell they're hiding the dragon, but I can't see it enough, well enough like this right here. I mean, I can see that perfectly clear right through that. That's the dragon and all these, that's the dragon, that's the dragon's spine. This is the chemical trail part here hiding it but that is the spine of the dragon right there. So, I mean, if somebody will send me something real clear like that, I'll definitely share it. But if it, if it looks more just like this all across the screen, but you can tell something's behind it, I don't usually share that because I can't see the outline to point out. But thank you for the handful of you all who did send me things. I'll show a few of them here. Here's another image of what Julia captured. I kind of just drew on it there of what to look for. I mean, look at that detail of the spine of the dragon there. That's just incredible. I'm so thankful that the Lord is allowing us to see this and we get to be a part of the generation that gets to be a part of the rapture. And just, wow, this is unbelievable. I don't know why the Lord created in his astronomy something that looks like a dragon that's like, you know, rocky debris and everything that's going to hit the earth with its debris and, and usher in the rapture right before that and usher in the tribulation right after it and the rise of the Antichrist. I don't know why he, you know, has this dragon in two parts, but it's his astronomy and it's incredible. I mean, I'm just blown away by this and I'm blown away by the entertainment industry has been telling us for 50 years in every single movie that they sign, the Secret Society signs, every single movie throughout every single movie it just blows me away i can't get over it i know half of you don't even believe me almost the rest of you don't even understand that but for the few of you who do understand it, it it's incredible once you see it that they've been telling us about this one event that we're sitting here looking at you're looking at it right now they've been telling us about this event on february 14th for 50 years and they've been telling us about the other four events too. It's, it's amazing. Here's a video of what she captured. I mean, just look at that detail. You can even see some like details right up here on top of that tip of that spine. But check out this. It goes a little bit to the right, back behind that building. She couldn't get it behind the building. And then it looks like it, it looks like it continues on over this way too for a while. That's incredible. I'm sorry, that's just incredible. Thank you, Julia, for taking this picture. You get the gold star for this part of the phase of the of the dragon events. 
of the five dragon events, you get the gold star for this one. That's amazing. And here I put it in a little bit harder light so you can see it even better. I mean, just look at that. Wow. Right over Orange County, California. They said it would be visible and it is right there. And you know, we would see all these events that they're talking about if they weren't hiding it. I mean, they're doing a great job of hiding it. I, I gotta hand it to them. They're doing a good job of hiding it. I mean, we, I mean, we can still see it, but you gotta look real hard. I'm sorry, that is just incredible. Okay, Jacqueline also lives in Orange County, and she sent me this picture of where they had just painted the sky trying to hide the spine of the dragon. And so I put it in a different filter, like an x-ray, and you can kind of see, like this looks like some kind of spikes through here that, that they were trying to hide it with, but they had the sky in her part of the sky in Orange County, wherever, I don't know where ex exactly precisely these two ladies are located, but they're both in Orange County, California, and it's the same day, and I'm not sure what time Jacqueline took her picture, but I mean, by this time, either before or after, they had the sky completely covered to where, so you can't even hardly see it, but I mean, you can tell it's there, but you just can't hardly make it out. And, I would just have to guess that some of this stuff has to do with the spine of it since it's the same area. And I also got some pictures from Gene and he's just north of San Francisco. And he sent me a couple pictures. Here's one of his pictures he sent me. And at first when I was looking at this, I thought maybe that's like the orb and these are the wings of debris coming off of it. And there of course is Starshade right there, the Starshade cloaking that always shows up on the back of the chemical trails. But I put his in, in X-ray too, and okay, so there's the starshade cloaking, but it looks like, I don't know if you can even see it or not, but like right here, it looks like the spine right there. I'm trying to outline it. That looks like a spine feature right there. And this looks like a spine feature right there of the dragon. It looks like two spikes of the spine. And then this part is like totally blacked out down here, they might have had that dark box cloaking technology right there hiding that. But whenever I put it in x-ray and I saw like these, and actually there's three of them, I see another one right there. Like there's another spine right there, there's a spine right there, and there's a spine right there. So once I put it in a different filter, I actually could see some spikes in, in his picture. Then uh, Princess Warrior 777 from Florida sent me this and I can't really see the spikes in this, but that's like a really good top edge of starshade right there showing up on the chemical trails where they were trying to hide it. If I were to guess, I would say like right here would be either a spike or a dark box cloaking. I can't tell what that is. They've got it too well hidden. Look at the color, look at the dark color on that. You can tell they're hiding it there. And then I put it in a different filter. Look at that, it looks kind of Look at that, it looks like a triangle right there. <laughs> anyway, here, here was where the star shade was. And look at these smeared chemical trails. And there's just, look at all that chemical trail stuff. And you can just tell that they were hiding it right here. And I don't know what that is. Whenever I put that different filter on it, I mean, look at that triangle shape. What is that in the sky? I hadn't even seen a triangle before. I've seen a, a dark square box cloaking, but I hadn't seen that before. And I went over to some of the FAA webcams to see if I could see it yesterday. And this was Edna Bay. Even though this says 215 UTC, it was like right before it was about to get dark on 214 uh, over in the mountain time, Pacific time. But anyway, most all the FAA webcams are just whited out with like chemical trails and, and white manufactured clouds, they, they whited out the sky pretty good and hit it really well uh, yesterday because I'm sure they knew this spikes were going to show up. Anyway, I was looking at this head in the bay and I could barely see some spikes right here. You can't hardly see them, but I can barely see the spike pattern right through there. 
And I put it in a different filter and you can bear, and it barely brought it out a little bit. See right through here. That could possibly be the spikes of the dragon right there because there's not any chemtrails right there going across the sky. So that's got to be something being illuminated right there and it might be the spikes possibly. But nothing like the first thing I showed you from Julia. Jackie from North Carolina is always watching and she is the one who had, I guess the only leg, foot, arm, hand image of the dragon on January 17th that they said we were gonna have. She got the gold star for that one. I mean, look at that foot, leg, whatever of the dragon coming into our atmosphere out of the clouds and like out of space down into our atmosphere. And she also got the tail as well on that day of the dragon but this is on uh february 14th uh yesterday you know they really covered the sky above her maybe they know she's taking pictures she says that the uh dragon lives above her and you know they're hiding it so that she can't see it <laughs> and I, I think she might be partially right too <laughs> but anyway right through here you can see there's some darkness behind all this white goop stuff you can see there's darkness that goes right through there i put it under a different filter right through there you see the darkness as opposed to this you know it's not conclusive i mean you can't see it because they got too well hidden and like right here was another picture she sent me this part looks dark and then you know that part up there is light so they had it too well hidden in north carolina and then also samantha just living north of Ireland, sent me this picture. And this was on the evening of uh, February 13th. And man, look at that. How they were hiding the dragon there. And I even showed you one or two videos, a couple videos ago, like I think it was the 10th or something like that of February over my house, how they were really hiding the dragon too. And I got some good pictures that look like the spine of, of the dragon then too. But it wasn't on February 14th like we were looking for. But this is the evening of the 13th in Ireland, or north of Ireland. And then I put it under a different filter. Just look at that detail of what they're hiding. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, can you imagine what this looks like without all this cloaking? No wonder Jesus said their hearts are going to be failing them with fear whenever they see this. I mean, we can't even imagine what this looks like because it's always hidden. And speaking of always hidden, here's my camera on February 14th. Look at this cloaking thing. It's kind of like a box in the sky. I know that's not my camera doing it, but because it, it's, it's always up there in kind of this part of the sky. And whenever this uh, lens flare right here goes across the sky, because it's, it's kind of projecting, I guess, the sun simulator or whatever and it, and it moves with the sun simulator in the opposite direction but every time it goes by this section of the sky it illuminates whatever equipment this is right here in the sky and i've been seeing this for like five years just check it out and there it goes now also notice I had made a video a few years ago showing that there's like, there's a section of the sky that is totally like with, I guess with light bending technology, it's where we can't see that section of the sky whenever the clouds come by, they just disappear. Like clouds will be coming and all of a sudden they just disappear. And, and that ain't normal, you know, they're not just disappearing in the sky, they're going behind some type of cloaking here. And I did catch that on this day too. And even though that says 2.15.22, that's incorrect because, see, it says it's like three o'clock in the morning. Of course, this ain't three o'clock in the morning. That ain't, that's not set correctly. It's, it's actually uh, late in the afternoon on the 14th is when I was recording this. Anyway, watch these clouds. This was a pretty good example of it. I had better examples of it on uh, videos years ago. It'd be kind of hard to find in the hundreds of videos that I took. But anyway, I mean, watch, watch these clouds just disappear. You just disappear in there.
It, look at the, watch this section right here. Watch them just disappear. See, there's all kinds of light bending, cloaking, all kinds of stuff going on up there that we're not, we don't even really understand. Here's another piece of equipment right there. I've seen this one too for four or five years. I don't know what kind of equipment that is, but it's always up there in the sky. And if you look real hard, there's a little piece of equipment right there too, a little dot piece of equipment way up in the sky there too. Now look again, there is a lens, a cloaking lens. They have lenses, like light bending lenses up in the sky. Right there is one of them, right here. And if you'll watch the light from the simulator, it will light up the edge of, of this cloaking lens right here. So watch the light, light that up. See it? Watch, watch the light move with it. See it moving with it? It's lighting up the edge of that cloaking equipment right there. Here's another piece of cloaking equipment right there where I'm circling. Look at that. That's like making a kind of upside down L shape. And that looks like it's got different compartments to it. And it's got another hand over here to it. I don't know what they got up there. They're cloaking something. And years ago, I found a hole in their cloaking, which was pretty amazing. This is the only time, and, and for, I don't know, for about a month, I would always find this hole in their cloaking in the sky. So there's two things here to look at. Look at the hole right here, and then right here, there's like a crater or a small moon or planet or something being lit up right there too. But watch this part right here first. See that? And then you can also see like right here. And I'm gonna show you a few examples of this over like a couple week period. But notice that this like crater or small moon planet, whatever that is, and I showed you this just a few videos ago that it's still up there. I guess it's the sun simulator lighting up a crater back behind the sun simulator, or it could be a real small moon or something. I don't know. Oh, and also this uh, red, is a lens flare and the blue dot and white dot's a lens flare from the camera but lens flares should not look like a tennis ball they should not have the stripes on them it should just be a red solid lens flare and i've seen it most of the time like a red solid lens flare but i've also seen it have stripes on it i've seen it have like little craters on it and stuff and i've said i've seen it before even have multiple craters all over it and i think it's projecting something but anyway i mean look at that look at that detail you can see kind of stripes of where there's like a little hole in their cloaking right there where, and we're able to see what's actually behind the cloaking and who knows what that is if it's a planet or a moon or the dragon or, or you know what right there here's another one so now you'll notice, remember in that one I just showed you, like the, the, the crater lit up was, was like over here. Now, look at it now, it's, it's like at the seven o'clock position. And I'll show you, it'll, I think it's more like right in here, it'll show up right there. See it? There's the hole in the cloaking. Remember the hole in the cloaking was up here on that other day that I captured it. Now the hole, because they're, I guess they're cloaking moves with the sky and everything, but there it is now. There's a stripe on some type of object behind their cloaking. Wow. 
when I found it, I was trying to, you know, move that little lens flare right over top of it. Cause when I, when I would move it over top of it, it would, it would illuminate it, the hole, see? I mean, look at that. I mean, what is behind that? But, and I don't know how a hole got in their cloaking, but I think they fixed it cause I've never seen it since. I've seen, I've seen this thing, like I said, since. I don't see it all the time, which tells me it's really there, but I've seen it since this was like 2018. This was actually April 17th of 2018. I'm showing you right here. There's April 17th. That's our next big time we're looking for. And I think that's the biggie. That's the big one, the destruction of where we go up in the rapture and that destruction comes down. Here was another day. Where I caught the cloaking. I was searching for it and found it right there. See it? You can barely see it on this one, but right there, there's the hole in the cloaking right there. See it? That's some type of edge of cloaking lensing that sometimes shows up in the sky. And this is my vehicle security camera. So it's kind of interesting how each camera I have shows different things in the sky. Like, like my iPhone camera won't pick this type of stuff up as well. It doesn't look exactly like this. Uh, it won't even pick up. Like remember I showed you there was some equipment over here. My iPhone camera won't pick that up. Now sometimes my iPhone camera will pick up this one right here but it never picks up like the weird stuff that I showed you that was right here and the weird stuff I showed you over there. It's just this camera, whatever settings are default in that vehicle security camera, it picks those up and it shows those cloaking pieces of equipment in the sky. And then it goes over to that piece of equipment that I showed you earlier. Here was a day it was pretty incredible. Uh, first of all, you got right there's either the crater or the small moon or whatever. And you still got the stripes going on the lens flare, which should not be there. But man, look at this projected colors. I had never, there was like a one week period there. This has been a few years ago where I don't know what was going on with their cloaking equipment if it was malfunctioning or if the dragon was just in a position to where they couldn't hide it like they can now because I don't see this nearly this pronounced anymore. But look how, look how pronounced that is. All those colors getting projected. And there, there it is again. Right there. And I think I find, yeah, there it is. There's the cloaking hole. Right there. There's the hole in the cloak. Where whatever is behind it is showing up. This was amazing here. This was back whenever we were eclipsed. There is a planet in front of the sun right here. We're fully eclipsed. And the simulator is lighting up. Like there's a planet right here or a moon or something. And see, there's still that little bitty dot right there. I don't know if that's a crater getting lit up on this planet or if it's a little moon far away from us, I don't know. But that's the only time I've ever seen the sky do this before. And it was right during the time whenever I captured that eclipse on the first full moon of uh, October of 2017 this was when we were getting eclipsed and then i actually later on a different camera caught the actual planet and i showed that to you all in one of my videos too but right there right there it the uh whatever's behind it has a hole in it the cloaking has a hole in it see it right there there it's getting loom it's whatever there's a hole right there that's getting illuminated from this planet that's behind the sun simulator 
It's getting illuminated right there. Look, you can even see craters. There's a crater. There's a crater. See that? And I think that's like these craters here are getting like we're that we're actually looking at the planet right there because there's a hole in the cloaking and we're seeing the the, the craters. But like here, like there's a crater, there's a crater, there's a crater, there's a crater. We're probably seeing a projection onto like lensing equipment of the surface, you know, kind of distorted and everything right here. That, we're looking right at it. And here's that week I was telling you about for one week I mean, it was just crazy. It got real crazy. I don't know what the deal was. And, and it even started showing two of the, like this red lens flare here. And look, it, the, the stripe on it even has another stripe going off of it here. And see, it's got a stripe here and it's got a stripe going off of it there. So the lens flares are even projecting something back here. There's the little white dot whether it's a crater or a little moon or something. I'm guessing it's a crater on the surface of the planet, but look at all this stuff getting projected off of the color of the planet behind the simulator. This only happened for like one or two weeks ever in my five years of looking at the sky. Just look at that. And there, there's what I showed you so just to prove to you that that is in the sky, that's cloaking in the sky, this is my iPhone camera I'm showing you right here. And look, that is the exact same thing that I had showed you earlier right here, right there. That right there is the same, is the same thing as that right there. Same thing as that. Two different cameras picking up the same thing. Well, four down, one to go, and it's the big one. Here we go.